Hello and welcome back to another HitFilm tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can add subtitles to your videos using only one layer. This can be done inside of the editor timeline as well as the composite shot timeline, similar to the kind of effect that you'd get if you used separate text layers. However, if you wanted to save space on your timeline without having to have several text layers stacked on top of each other, then this will save you time. This, however, will require the edit starter pack. The first thing I'm going to do is create a new plane layer. This plane layer needs to be transparent, and to do this you want to select the transparent option. I'm just going to name this layer plane, then I'm going to hit OK. That has added a new plane into the media tab. I'm just going to drag and drop this down onto the editor timeline above my footage. So I want to have the text pop on saying another hit film tutorial as I'm saying it. So now what I'm going to do is search for the text effect. Then I'm going to scroll down, go into Generate, and see that there is text. I'm just going to drag and drop this onto that new plane layer. And that has added the word text onto our plane layer. You can change what this word is by altering what is written here by pressing on the A. So I want this to say another. And I'm going to create a new one of these text effects for every word I say for the Another Hit Film tutorial. So that means I'm going to use three text effects. To move the text around, I'm going to go into the transform options. And as you can see, you have a position offset. The first value is the X, and the second value is the Y. So I'm going to drag to the right for the X, and position it somewhere I want. And then I'm also going to position there. That's around the place I want it to be, and I also want it to be larger. But I do want this to pop on as I'm saying, another hit film tutorial. So I'm just going to go through and locate that point. So I've now located the point where I say another hit film tutorial. So I'm now going to go back by one frame on this plane layer. Or just either pressing the previous frame or the comma key. And I'm going to go up to the controls for the text, start keyframing for opacity, and set it to zero. Then I'm going to move ahead by one frame and set this over to being one. And now, as you can see, this just suddenly appears. So now it just pops on saying another. And now all I have to do is go back over to the controls for this effect. I'm going to rename this text effect to being another. I did that by pressing F2, but you can also right click and press rename. And now I'm going to duplicate this. I used Control D because I'm using keyboard shortcuts. Or you could right click and do duplicate. And then going to rename this again. Name this Hit Film. Now I'm going to move ahead just to know where the another is positioned. And now I'm going to drag this down using the position offset. And now I'm going to change the text over to being Hit Film. Then hit OK. And now I'm going to locate the point where I say hit film in my another hit film tutorial. And now I've located it. So then I'm going to go into the format controls. I'm going to restart keyframing by clicking on the circle, turning off all previous keyframes and deleting them. Moving back by one frame, activating keyframing, setting the opacity to zero. And I'm going to move ahead by one more frame and set the opacity to one. And now it pops onto the screen as I'm saying hit film and now I'm going to locate where I say tutorial once again duplicate the text effect rename it call it tutorial then go into the text settings and set this to tutorial then hit OK move this down and now I'm going to find where I say tutorial And I've now located this, so once again, going into the format controls, stop keyframing, start it again, move back by one frame, set it to zero, move ahead and set it to one. And now, as you can see, we have the words another hit film and tutorial all popping in. I hope that you found this tutorial useful, and if you did, then please leave a like and subscribe. And also, if you wanted to, then you could follow me at ndpproductions underscore workshop on Instagram. And I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.